Hello, I'm Elizabeth Mackis, the Pelvic Whisperer. As a physical therapist who has had the honor and privilege of treating the pelvic floors of men and women for over 25 years, I am always on a quest to find better and easier ways to release tight muscles and fascia. And on my quest, I discovered some really cool ways to use the pelvic therapy TheraWands. So on our journey today, I hope that you will also sort of figure out which TheraWand is the best for your body's needs. Now let's move on to the pocket wand. And now this wand may be little, but it is a mighty little wand. And I think it's so cool because you literally can carry it in your purse or your pocket so you have it with you during the day. Well, why would you need that? Well, during the day, your pain may start again and you want to nip it in the bud before it becomes a problem. So you can just bring it in the bathroom with you and I will show you on a toilet exactly how to release it. And where you're going to release for women is obviously vaginally. And for men, you are going to want to release the perineum, which is, of course, right behind the testicles and in front of the anus. So you can use the pocket wand just like this to get externally in this perineum and then off to the side to the ischial tuberosity where your internal obturator muscles and pelvic floor muscles are. Another amazing useful way to use this pocket wand that helps my patients a lot is when women have their posterior vaginal wall prolapsing, a rectocele, what happens is the stool kind of gets stuck in this pocket and it makes it hard to go to the bathroom. So you, we call it splinting. You can put the wand in the vagina and hold it against the posterior wall as you have a bowel movement. And it's very easy, and I will show you that as well on the toilet. All right, so like I said, you got to keep your sense of humor. Now, since I am not the cooking and cleaning type, I'm not going to really take you into my bathroom. But if you could imagine, if I had fun with this, I'd be having a pink bathroom, right? That would be me, right? So we're going to, I, what I want to do is just show you there's some tricks about bringing your pocket wand to the bathroom. The main thing is that pelvic pain patients mostly actually feel good on the toilet because sitting hurts except when there's a hole there. But even on the toilet, I want you to keep, sit back on the toilet before you do your release so that your thighs distribute the, por you know, the force evenly. Because if you're just hanging on one edge or whatever, it's just too much pressure. You want even pressure you want to be able to keep a relatively good posture even when releasing with the pocket wand. So you don't want to be like slumped down here because again, that puts some pressure on your whole body. So if you can, for vaginal or perineal release in men, you can, it's probably better if you're sitting so you can relax, even though men are going to go to the bathroom standing up, but for urination, but you can, See where I'm going to be able to relax here, get the wand in your vagina, and feel free if it's easier for you to use two hands so you don't have to work as hard, you can do it that way. And if you are using this to splint the posterior wall of your vagina so you can go to the restroom, um, it's going to be this way and you'll put it in your vagina and just gently put pressure backwards as you have a bowel movement. And again, when you're actually releasing the muscle, it'll be more the other angle towards the muscles that you're going to release. Okay, happy toileting. All right, I think you get the idea. These wands are useful tools for your body when used wisely. So be creative, but please be careful. And even better, get your pelvic floor physical therapist involved. Let them teach you and show you how to be safe. All right, well, be blessed and happy releasing.